Good morning, everyone. Today's meditation comes from the second book of Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 12. O our God, will you not execute judgment on them? For we are powerless against this great horde that is coming against us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. This is a prayer that King Jehoshaphat did when he was surrounded in a battle. He prayed this prayer and he said many other verses in this chapter, but this one touched my heart. The second part says, we do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. And I start meditating on how many times I have found myself in the same situation where I didn't know what to do. And all I needed, all I, I needed in that moment was Jesus to rescue me. And probably sometimes we feel that these are moments of weakness. These are moments that we don't want to be very often. But the truth is that when in moments like this come in your life, when you don't know what to do, but your eyes turn towards God, these are the moments that God shows up in your life more. Remember, when you ask God for help, he shows up because he's there to rescue you. And he did the same thing for the people of Israel. He spoke to them. And not only that, he won their battles. Just some verses after, if we read in verse 29, it says, And the fear of God came on all the kingdoms of the countries when they heard that the Lord had fought against the enemies of Israel. So the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet, for his God gave him rest all around. God gave him rest all around. Why? Because he humbled himself. He turned his eyes on God. He decided not to be proud. He decided not to show off as some other kings have done. But he told the truth to God. He said to God that he didn't know what to do. And he turned his eyes to Jesus. This is the key for success. This is the key for winning every single battle that you are going on right now. I can guarantee you that as soon as you surrender your life and you say, God, I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. God is going to bless you. God is going to win your battle. If you read the whole chapter 20, I'm sure you are going to be blessed because you are going to realize that in, in the same chapter, from people crying to people rejoicing, God changed their lives. And it doesn't take too long for God to win your battle. It just takes the enough time that you need to humble yourself and recognize that only God can win your battles. God bless you, church, and have a nice day.